like I personally think, and I'm more than happy for anyone to tell me otherwise, but I think that I was kind of respectful to every single person on that show. I stood up for my partner when I needed to, and I was always by her side because I understood her, but I was never mean or disrespectful to anyone. There's so many nuggets here, so I won't interrupt the interview with my opinion. What you just heard is the theme for the entire video. Reason we're here. There was the Tell All podcast with another podcast that Olivia and Jackson did. I mean, they've done a few, but the most okay. recent one, they addressed their time on the show, dropped a number of bombshells about mm. the show and the people on it and yep. spoke about their experience as well as other people's experiences, which we'll get into. Yeah. Now, you messaged me like as this dropped and you were like a bit upset about it. Yep. And a number of things that they said obviously struck a nerve with you. And yeah. so we just wanted to, well, you just wanted to come on here and yeah. clarify some things that were said and set the record straight, I guess. Yeah. And again, I can only speak from my point of view and what I saw and what I know about myself, about Dom, about Ella, about our group of friends. I mean, Brent and Al. Brent is probably, Al, not so much involved in this sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, Al's but managed to stay out of the drama, hasn't he? He's just- He's, he's a like puppy a, dog. He's a bit of Switzerland in the middle of the two groups. Well, he's always there and he just he's sort of- um really avoids it well. Yeah, I mean, who can't love Al? He's a cute. He's cute. He's so cute. Anyway, so basically I wanted to have this chat just to be like, look, a few things were thrown around. Like, firstly- Let's talk about the whole relationship that wasn't a relationship, fake relationships. That sort of premise that's been thrown around a bit. Mm. I would like to think and I wholeheartedly believe that no one that was on that show, and I mean no one, not one cast member, actually maybe a couple of cast members. I can members. think of a few. <laughs> I can think of a few now when I start, I just sort of deleted them from my head for a second. <laughs> but let's talk about uh, like the Mitch and the, yeah, us and Mitch and Ella. You know, I know Mitch and Ella ended in a very weird way. It is what it is. I won't get into that. But saying that their whole relationship was fake or uh, staged or whatever the words they used were. Yeah. Do you want me to read out what was said? I think. Yeah, you get it, girl. Too. So, Please. they said that Ella and Mitch were faking it the whole time and Ella had convinced him to stay in the experiment to make more money. Mitch never liked Ella. So, this is the exact thing that Olivia said. Mitch, Mitch is never gonna- liked Ella. Mitch is going to kill me. I love Mitchell. I think he's one of the best men on maths, which I mean, (laughs) debatable, but he never liked Ella. It was never a thing for him. And she was like, the longer we stay on this, the more money we will make. You could see every time that they got on the couch, something's not right there. I'll say that in terms of when they got on the couch and thinking that something was not right there, I understand that because they both held back a lot early on in the show. And that was because he was telling her he wanted to be a private person. Yeah, and and she she, respected that. And she was trying to respect him, but also, like, the group and the experts were like, you have to speak about what's going on, probing her, and then she felt like if she spoke about it, then she'd be betraying the trust between her and Mitch. And eventually they did both open up on the couch and off, but that was uh, much further down the track. Probably the last two commitment ceremonies or something like that, you know, that that did happen. But in terms of just going back to, you know, the premise of, like, was that relationship fake or not? Like, I can tell you right now, based on how hurt I know Ella was and is, the answer is very simply no. You don't have that much care and affection for someone and you don't feel that much anguish. And I've seen her. I've spoken to her yeah. about this. You know, she, she was physically hurt by what occurred following maths and- you don't do that if you don't care. She's been struggling quite a bit with it, I think. Yeah. And I think she's in a very good place now because she's gotten to a good realisation where she's at. She's doing amazing for herself at the moment. Like, I have nothing but respect for Ella. I really do. You know, she went through a bit of the wars towards, you know, just post the show and then obviously all this backlash. And now all of a sudden it's been thrown in the mix that her relationship was non-existent. So, during the show, you guys were obviously really close with Ella yep. and Mitch and yep. you hung out with them quite a lot. Is that yes. right? Yes, yeah, yeah. What did you see? Like, did you think that it was ever fake? Was it like, because obviously oh, yeah. we know Ella was genuine and she genuinely liked him. Yeah. Do you think it was genuine on Mitch's side as well? Because I feel like oh, it yeah. was. I yeah, think yeah, that he yeah. liked her. I just don't think he was ready to commit. My wholehearted, how I view Mitch and the Ella's relationship towards the end is simply that. I think Mitch was in it. Saw maybe a few things that he wasn't quite sure about and then the relationship just sort of broke down. It probably broke down in a bit more catastrophic way than it needed to, but I think they'll both admit, like, you know, mistakes were made and whatever. But during the show, like, 
Mitch loved the girl on the show. I'll use that word, he never will, but genuinely, I saw it between the two of them. Like, they were on the same page. They were having so much fun together and they were- Yeah, that's what she said. They were fun. And, like, behind the scenes, they were, like, you know, hanging out 24-7. Oh, yeah, yeah, they were. They were uh, on the weekends. They'd always be going to a beach somewhere, going to do their thing and, you know, uh, whatever. I mean, if you're faking it, you would just not- once the camera stopped rolling, you'd be like, all right, I'm going to hang with the boys. Well, yeah. I'm going to do my own thing. That would make like, sense, that's a, right? That's a definite sign that I feel like. No. And I know for a fact that, you know, every time we were doing something or we used to have a, a few little moments sort of after some of the dinner parties, maybe, or after the commitment ceremony or something, we would go over their place or they'd come over ours in Sky Suites and we would just have a little little chat, little debrief. I think I would tend to have one more beer because I needed it. <laughs> and um, <laughs> like, we would just, you know, we were a great group and I could see they were together and me and Dom were together. Like, what's fake about that? There's nothing fake about that. What was the body language with them like? Like, looked like genuine. Oh, yeah. They were in a relationship okay. through and through. Straight so it's just one-sided. And I feel as well, like, I think what happened with them at the end is that they were moving at different speeds. I feel yep. like she was ready to go all in, you know, move, and I just don't think he was there. I mm. think he was wanted to, like, have her as a girlfriend, not like a a wife or a long-term partner. Yeah. And that's okay as well. Look, you can't be blamed for that at the end of the day. Like, people move at different things and, yeah, yeah, mistakes were made. But in terms of, like, you know, if someone's moving faster than another, someone's not ready, you're allowed to be not ready and you're allowed to be on different wavelengths. But unfortunately, it... So false. Another claim about... Oh, here she goes. So false, she reckons. Whilst we're on on the topic of Ella, Olivia claimed that there was another side to Ella that viewers didn't see. She said she always had this weird smug smile whenever I spoke to her. She always seemed competitive with me over whose relationship was stronger. She was constantly taking digs at me. Did you ever witness any of this? I actually didn't even listen to that part of the podcast, and the short answer is no. <laughs> You're like, oh, shit, now I'm angry again. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm genuinely like, I'm a little bit shocked right now. She was having digs at her. I thought they were actually really nice to each other. Yeah, well, I didn't... Ella was always very nice to Olivia, I thought. That that was also the first I'd heard from anyone about that, but I mean... And I just... why is that coming up now three months later? Why are we perpetuating new drama? I don't understand. Mm. I don't get I it. I mean, if she was having digs at her, I'm surprised that she didn't pull her up when it was happening because she did pull Dom up for, you know, certain Everything. things. So, that's weird. Okay, so you didn't witness that. <laughs> Firstly, I didn't hear that on the podcast. So I think I was just skimming through to sort of get the- I, I can't sit there and listen to, like, give 40 minutes of my day to essentially dragging people through the mud. But, yeah, uh, no, I'd, I'm shocked. Do you think Ella's, like, the person that she comes across as? I know she is. There's no other words about that. I think she has a lot more to say than she said on the show. She's very supportive, but she's got a lot more words to say. There's only so much you can see of a person on her. She wasn't two-faced. She wasn't fake. She wasn't a mean person behind the scenes. No, no, no. If anything, there's more of what you already saw. Niceness. Well, it's not even nice. It's She's opinionated, she's assertive, and she's very caring. So, you put that all together and you get someone that can speak their mind, can speak about how they're feeling, and can step up for things that she disagrees with. Love that. Thank God. Because I was like, oh, no, don't tell me Ella's bad. She was my favorite. She's the most popular one from the show. 